Hi everybody, welcome to the Imagine Adventures podcast. This is Mahina. I'm very happy to have you here. Um, today, I'm very excited to be talking to you about the um, about magic. What is magic? Magic is literally what, um, what we can't <laughs> explain in a way. Magic is a mysterious, magic is a mythical, magic is uh, the beautiful, magic is something that we, we all want to experience and we've been experiencing from the beginning of time, from the beginning of human civilization. Magic is, is it just, I mean, it's so many things. It, it's the one word that literally encompasses so many definitions. It probably doesn't have a clear definition. Um, even today, many people write the word magic in a different way. So some people write, write magic um, ending with a C, which is literally referred to, to more traditional magic, um, like a magical trick, for example, for magicians. So you're a magician, but more in the sense that you do some tricks and you, you, you know, people are in awe. And then you have other people who use the word magic with a CK or with a K and it's, um, it's more related to the actual um, practice of ancient, ancient magical art. Um, either way, I'm not here to debate on whether, <laughs> whether magic is good or bad. I'm not here to say, um, you know, I'm not here to talk about a cult or anything like that. I'm here to just talk about just ba bathing in the word magic um, so as you probably know every word has a frequency and it's very interesting to know that the word magic with a C and the word magic with a K actually have very different frequencies um, they don't you know they have different vibrations they don't actually mean the same thing um, but not just on a, on a human perception level on the way we define them but even on a universal level on the way we talk to the universe so if you use the word magic with a ck or a k or a c um, it will be sending a different signal so if you're interested in knowing more about that you can contact me directly because i can only dive deep with certain people on that um, i wouldn't have time to go through this right now however i will be able to say that um, i believe magic just like einstein said the imagination is greater than knowledge and it's more important than knowledge um, magic is it's a bit it encompasses everything it's um it's, a, it's magic and alchemy are both the same thing to me they are uh, representing a process of um, things coming into life, being created, starting from other things. So, you know, in alchemy, we know that nothing and energy is never lost or never dies. It's always transformed. And the process of transforming that energy is alchemy. But the, um, the, the actually birth of that new creation the, the yeah the becoming the creating the whole process is magical it is a mystical it is this thing that up to not that long ago we couldn't explain there's things like you know the thunder in the sky um or uh anything really uh you know global warming um all of these things how how the a lake become uh, frozen in the winter all of these things that to us is very natural now and we we can explain that with science used to be considered magic um, or magical back in time because we couldn't explain it so magic is literally it it refers to things that we still cannot explain and there are so many things that we still cannot explain and that seem magical and should feel magical um, that's something that we've lost as adults as we grow up and get a job and just live our supposedly adult life or society, you know, correct life in, the, in this eye of society. We lose our sense of wonder. We lose the simple ability to marvel 
at the beauty of the natural world and you know many civilization i mean i've traveled around a lot and when i've talked to some indian um, native indian from um, america or even when i talk to old people usually the the very old people in african villages um or when i talk to i grew up in tahiti so when i talk to the old um tahitian woman who would she was not quite a shaman but she was um, almost like a medicine woman um, all of these people they they were adult they were mature they were very grown up um, and they knew their responsibility but they also understood the importance of maintaining retaining keeping safeguarding a sense of wonder for life because we shouldn't take any moment and anything for granted if we're really honest and um, we never know when our life might end, but also when the world might end. And it doesn't really matter in the sense that in the eye of the universe, our, our time on Earth, even as a civilization, even as human beings, is nothing more than the blink of a knife on the universal um, scale. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't, it's not worth anything. On the contrary, it means that every single moment plus... That, so if you add one moment with another, with another, with another, and if you add a moment experienced by one person and another and another and another, then um, that what actually makes up life. That what makes up uh, the way we experience the world. That's what actually makes up the world. So it's very important to not forget that life is magical. Who you are is a magical being. I mean, you know, this is an example that people keep using, but I like using it as well because it does make sense. A while back, not so long ago, you know, we used to think that people had cast a spell upon us or something like that, but in, now we can see the bacteria on our body. So, you know, when when there was a plague for example you know people condemned witches or people thought that other people were bewitching them but in fact now we know that it's a bacteria and that this is what's causing plague however is a bacteria less magical than somebody's spell not really and is something bad not magical not really either so bad and good and bad you know is really all about perception you know for us obviously experiencing the plague or something like that um, or even the COVID because we are we are in the midst of a pandemic um, it is a very bad thing it's not something that we want to experience but um, on, a, on, a, on a bigger scale if we think about you know for the planet it probably doesn't matter as much to the natural world that we are going through this so for example um, it doesn't take away the the magic of living quite the contrary actually it actually makes us realize again that we can't take anything for granted that um you know we the chances of us being born in this in this world this time is so remote i mean think about it i think somebody said that it was one out of 400 billion chances to be born the way you are with your attributes and qualities and stuff so don't take it for granted my god like the the one being who that you are right now is um it doesn't matter how long you live for it doesn't matter you, you've been created you're here you're here for a reason a very beautiful reason and it that reason is actually to just be you and this in itself is magical so this is you know this is the magic of life this is the magic of the, just just the magic um, it doesn't even need to be attributed to something. You know, everything can be called magical. You have magical books, you have a magical world, you have uh, movies about magic, you have magical thinking. Um, magical thinking is actually very interesting because a lot of um, scientists and doctors almost think of it as a disease. But magical thinking, it just, it just so popular these days because there is probably a truth behind that and we are not able to prove it yet but soon we will be able to i think and it has to do with the law of attraction and it has to do with quantum physics and it's you know it's it's in the process of being proven magical thinking is literally telling you that um you know you believe that you have 
the ability to influence the world around you using your thought or using rituals or uh, you know meditating or whatever and it's true it's actually being proven so you're affecting your own vibration and by doing that you're affecting your own personality you are literally changing bodily like your physiology is changing your um your way of thinking is changing the more you meditate the more you believe in magical thinking the more you're changing and when you do that obviously you're affecting the world around you and in doing so the whole world starts to change and it's not just that it's also that as soon as you do these things you practice magical thinking or any magical practice or you just you know you begin to be more in awe of the life that you're living the more um, the world will appear magical to you and actually the more magic you will literally create in the world because the way you will talk to people will be so different it will sound magical let's say you go on a walk and you know instead of doing like most people do and just looking at the ground when you walk or um looking at the trees you start to say now i'm not saying you should be um looking at or finding fairies or whatever i mean if you see fairies that's great for you but you you i'm just saying like appreciating the beauty of the world you know how magical is it that for example a tiny little seed becomes a beautiful beautiful flower or a 100 year old tree um i mean this is beautiful this is exponential this is mind-blowing and we forget that um, but even little things such as um, a little ant and the way they work together look at those ants um, and you know I've, I've just seen a documentary the other day and it says that uh, all of the ants on the planet had the same biomass as we do as human beings on the planet so it makes you really think like are we really significant or are we like, are we more significant than ants? Doesn't seem that way. <laughs> are we less significant than ants? We're not either. That's so very interesting. But it's um, it's a very interesting um, way to think because magic is not just about what the world wants us to define it as. You know, it's a very personal thing. It's it's literally. Uh, maybe a definition of the your relationship with the world and um, you know there's also a saying and uh, that says you know you can see or be in the universe and live every day as if everything is a miracle or as if nothing is and it's so true you can look around you and experience the world as if everything is magical or as if nothing is and um, so it is up to you, it is up to us, and rather than focusing on the problems and on the things that go wrong in the world, you know, simply shift your perspective as much as you can and remember that magic. Remember your power. I mean, magic is all about having magical powers, right? Um, look at how many fiction movies and fantasy movies and, and science fiction movies and, and books. And we are, we are creating magic all the time. We all wish to have magical powers, but what we don't necessarily realize is that we already, we already have that power. We have that power to imagine and create whatever we want in our mind and also the power to literally shift our perception and our perspective and thus our, um, our life um, and our perception of life right now right there at this very moment for the better so you know if something's going wrong um, if you are going through a tough time if you are feeling lost or stuck or tired or overwhelmed remember to just you know choose choose that magical moment that you you felt what did you feel when you first saw I don't know um, the ocean when you first went to the beach what did it feel like when you first saw uh, your shooting star, you know, your first shooting star and you made a wish, what did you feel like? You know, why do you make a wish? Because there's magic out there. And I'm not, I'm not even joking when I say that because I really, really believe that there is. I believe that we are creators and that we live in a very uh, conscious universe that we don't understand fully how it works and it doesn't matter because I don't think science um, will fully be able to explain all of the magics that we are experiencing, all of our universe on a, on a very like detailed or um, super conscious level. But I do believe that we have the ability to understand everything that's going on 
on a more subtle um and I, and I would say spiritual but more on a intuitive intuitive level so if you know me you know that every time that i talk about a subject i always like to bring in the three elements together um be it the law of attraction or manifestation um i'm always talking about the scientific and the psychological and the spiritual as aspect of everything um i think people who are too spiritual and neglect well negate what science says it I, I really believe that literally all three meet up um and are acting as one and only when we actually try to understand all of these three aspects um f about every subject basically that we that we talk about can we really gain a deeper understanding of the way the world works so Again, magic is uh, magic can be anything you want. Remember that the way you talk about magic, the way you experience magic, um, and the way you write it down, all affect what magic is about. And um, yeah, and then just choose, choose what it is that you want. Do you want to experience more magic in your life? Do you really not believe in magic? And in that way, you maybe you cast it away as something that only children feel but if that's the case if if your children are wandering around and just talking about magic um you know let them be it's okay but um but i really believe that we all feel a very deep in uh, i think that the reason why we are so attracted to everything magical that we have created movies harry potter um all of these things you know magical powers um even even the the old ancient civilization the ability to communicate with the uh, higher spirit with god with this is all magical and the reason why we feel we really want to see that manifested and created and we, we want to experience that magic in our world every day i believe it because we have that ability already we just need to remember that we have it so we're actually not fully conscious or aware of it yet but you know as the more you practice the more you you look at the world with the eyes of a child and you really see everything with new eyes everything is wonderful everything is magical the more you will actually gain a better and a deeper understanding of how the world works um for you on an individual but also on all three aspects um and and the more you will have a more fulfilling life that's my personal opinion obviously but um but i hope that it might have uh shed some light on some things that you might be wondering about and that you know it will give you uh, a little boost to definitely let yourself dream again and again and again and most of all um experience the world love yourself in a magical way because you are magical you're a magical being we live in a magical universe everything we do is magic everything we think is magic so you know you can choose to see the world as a magical place and to see everything as a magical creation or to see everything as not being magical but it is up to you and um so i'll leave you with that and you choose whatever you want to experience but in the meantime i wish you all a beautiful beautiful day and if you want to talk more about this just don't hesitate to get in touch with me and um and i will be talking to you next week bye everybody